sometime after 9 o'clock, he took the pill that took his life. Alexander Neville died of fentanyl poisoning in 2020. The California teen was 14 years old, just barely out of middle school. You feel like a complete failure, right? You're, we're beating ourselves up over it all the time. His mother, Amy, confessing she didn't even know what fentanyl was. Death blindsided us. Uh, no one was talking about fentanyl at the time. According to Amy, her teenage son thought he was taking oxycodone. But a toxicology report later revealed that one fatal pill was laced with fentanyl. It was a life or death situation, and I didn't realize that. A threat that's now made its way to Cleveland, Texas. There's no cap. A sobering show and tell at a middle school. Ready? That's it. You just saved a life. In a cafeteria where kids eat lunch, parents learning how to use Narcan to potentially save their own child from fentanyl poisoning. It's incomprehensible. Onelia Santos here for her three kids and free Narcan. At first I was like, no, because let's not have this because it's going to give a gateway for these children to go ahead and say, hey, there's something to save me. Let's just try it anyway. And now? And now we need it. That's because parents here are facing something they've never seen before, an explosion of opioid-related incidents. Barely three months into the school year, the district's reported 15 EMT calls, eight overdoses, none of them fatal, but four needing Narcan, and even an arrest at one of the middle schools for possession of opioids. If anything were to happen to one of these students, our district would completely feel it. With two high schoolers of her own, the fight is personal for District Nursing Director Lacey Green, who rebuilt campus first aid kits, equipped with a life-saving drug. If it's a situation that they need to give Narcan in, they already have it on them. So that now Narcan kits are at every campus in the district, even the elementary schools. Junior Leslie Gonzalez and senior Vladia Trevino say the difference from last year to now, dramatic. Not just in overdoses, but in access to drugs like Percocet, often unknowingly laced with the fatal drug. How easy are these drugs to come by? Very easy. How easy? To the point where you could look at someone in your class and you could ask and they would have. Texas has seen fentanyl-related deaths surge 600% in just three years. More than 200 of those deaths involving people 18 and under. What's happened since the pandemic with youth is a skyrocketing a national epidemic of crushing anxiety that makes these kids not want to come to school. Which is what drives Dr. Joy Alonzo to come to town halls okay. like Cleveland's. What other questions do you have? This is Texas to Tennessee, Baltimore to Los Angeles. No one is spared. It's hard because I just want my kid. A painful reality, one Amy Neville wishes she could rewind every single day. A little bit of information would have gone a long way in our house that night, and unfortunately, we didn't have that. And we paid the price. Morgan Chesky, NBC News, Cleveland, Texas. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.